The Time Meddler is a really engaging episode. I honestly enjoyed this one quite a bit, and I think it was a nice way to conclude this somewhat uneven season. I am somewhat encouraged to say very little about this episode because I didn't know a lot about it going in, but I'm going to give you at least as much as the title does, which is that there is somebody meddling with time. Yeah. So, the Doctor and Vicky and Steven, I guess, go back to the 10th century and they begin to discover these things that are very out of time. There's a record player and what I'm recalling was a monastery, but it might have been a church, I'm not quite sure. And uh, some more things that are wacky and not where slash when uh, they should be. Uh, so it's really interesting to see how this story unfolds, and the way these interesting things play out. I enjoyed this one a good bit. It's definitely worth uh, touching on our characters here, which I didn't talk too much about last week. So I'm actually uh, coming to quite like Vicky in this show. It's hard for me to not compare her to Susan, and uh, for my purposes, I think that I will. So, uh, Vicky doesn't freak out the way that Susan does. Susan would get overexcited all the time, but we don't really get that from Vicky. Also, Vicky tends to be a lot smarter than Susan, which makes sense to me given her background. Uh, I don't mean to put down Susan, but this is just the easiest way for me to explain myself and my feelings towards Vicky at this given time. Uh, so, there's, there's a scene that actually showcases how smart she is when they're talking to the monk, and she gets him to reveal that he has seen the doctor through a trick, which at first I didn't like because I instantly knew what she was doing and I didn't really buy it. But then when she said that it was too easy and that he probably wanted them to know that, it suddenly made sense and I actually liked it. And it was a reminder that she's actually pretty smart. And, you know, I'm glad that we have a smart companion. I also want to reiterate that I'm really enjoying William Hartnell as the Doctor. He's just such a fun presence, and I enjoy him more and more with each episode. Steven is the new bloke on the block, and uh, the way they explained his being here after last episode doesn't make sense to me, but I don't care that much. Uh, I don't really have much to say about him. It always takes me a bit for me to fully know how I feel about new companions, so I expect it will be the same with him. Even though this is at the end of the second season, this show came out over 50 years ago, uh, so you won't have to wait that long before I can give a legitimate opinion on him. So, I've said all that I'm comfortable saying without diving into spoilers, so I think that you can call that your spoiler warning, and uh, go on to this point in the video on the screen right now if you would like to avoid my spoiler section. I'll just give you a few seconds before moving on with the video, and if you would like to skip spoilers, you can do that now. If you are not skipping to the time on screen, that means you have already seen the episode or you just don't care. So let's begin t discussing those spoilers. So we found out that the meddling monk is a time traveler, possibly time lord, but I don't think that is made clear in the episode. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me if I am wrong about that. Uh, I love the reveal that he has a TARDIS. When we see Vicky and Steven step into it, it's also really cool because this is the first TARDIS that we have seen outside of the Doctors, so it's just cool to have one that is isn't broken, which we hadn't seen before this. So yeah, I quite enjoyed that, and I honestly quite enjoyed the meddling monk in this episode. He's just this bloke that wants to make things better by changing time in ways that nobody should have the power to do. I do like that aspect, and if I have one nitpick, um, it's that I wish they ha would have dived a little bit more into the cha changing time aspect of this episode and the consequences that can occur with that because there are a couple of different ways to look at that and I felt that the show didn't want to explore it too much but as said that's a minor nitpick it's just something I would have liked to see explored more so I would like to say more about that but I don't think I have much more to say I mean the time meddler was quite a solid end to this somewhat rocky season of Doctor Who I enjoyed our characters in it, and the antagonist was thoroughly entertaining. There was definitely potential for growth in this one, but overall it was quite strong. The Time Meddler earns a solid rating of 8 out of 10. 
that concludes my episode by episode reviews for season two of Doctor Who. So, before too long, I'll be on to season three, but before that, I'm going to do an overview of the entire second season and give my thoughts on the season as a whole, as well as summarizing my thoughts on specific episodes for those who haven't seen every review I've done. So, that should be coming out, I suppose, next Sunday, and I hope to see you then. Be sure to let me know what you thought about this episode down below. I hope to see you again next Sunday when I give you my thoughts on the entire first season. Thanks for watching. Take care, and have a lovely week.